Well, here is the result of the rose garden. It's coming along nicely. Well, good day, dailies. How's it going, eh? And today is kind of special. Not because of the roses, but because this is the 200th video. Yes, 200 videos I've made so far. Well, I've made actually more than that. But 200 that has been actually on my channel, according to the YouTube. So, that's a milestone. And I will, when I reach 250 or 100 subscribers, whichever comes first, I'll give a small giveaway. So, you have to subscribe, you have to like, and you have to comment. So, in order to win, you have to fulfill those things. It's simple, and it's free. Hey, check out the garden. It's coming along quite nicely now. I'll turn around here and you can actually see it. Anyway, um, this is my new 200 episode shirt. Yes, I got this not too long ago and I was saving it for a special occasion and to wear on the show all the time. And this is it. It's a Canadian plaid. <laughs> of course. Canadian daily. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the garden. Let's have a look at the garden, shall we? Okay, so in here is the rhubarb patch in the back. Now in the front there may go some carrots or turnip or something. I'm not sure what dad has planned to put in there, since this is my father's garden. But I thought I'd like to just showcase it on one of my episodes. And He's cleaned up all this end down here and he's still working on it. He put a load of mud in here last evening and I'm not sure what he's gonna plant in there yet. Um, really not sure, I don't know if he knows. These are his blue, uh, I don't know if they are the high bush blueberries or maybe even gooseberry trees that he has here, current trees. No, I don't think they're current, I think they're uh, gooseberries. Um, and some blueberries he has there. That was just a total mess and shambles over the past few years. Things were growing up into the trees. There was one vine going way in about 15 feet. This was just a total mess here. So cleaned it all up and uh, we had to put some fencing up because of the deer. The deer love to get in the garden and eat. And all around here, everyone that has gardens have these raised beds with fencing around them for that reason. And the reason they have raised beds is because most of the ground here, well, for lack of better words, is the shits. It's a lot of rock underneath here. And um, you have to have raised beds because just nothing will grow. So we have some landscape material underneath and the soil on the top. And uh, basically, you know, that should do it. We're gonna try it this year and see. Okay, so we have a few animal and bird deterrents in the trees hanging there. A blue jay, an owl, and a tin man. And we've had them for quite a few years, but I'm going to view the garden from this end. Yeah. And that's head looking out to the front, to the road there. So that's pretty neat. Now, we also have our veg truck here which we'll be putting some vegetables in and of course we got some plants right here almost ready to go it's gonna be a full moon this week so after the full moon we'll be able to put them in because we don't want to lose them and uh, they're gonna go in those bags that are up there now I gotta watch the pretty blue flowers here where I walk of course yeah we go and we're going to have different vegetables and that. The dark green bags in the back are for potatoes. And they have flaps on the side that the potatoes just come out the bottom type of thing uh, when they're ready to be harvested. So we're going to put uh, tomatoes and other kind of vegetables in these bags as well and grow them up on the deck so that the animals don't get into them. And we have a cover for that. So it's like a greenhouse veg truck type of thing. Now the rest of my yard 
It's getting done. Little birdhouse, gnome home, bird bath. Tons and tons of pretty blue wildflowers. It's good for the honeybees because honeybees are very important to pollinate and we must bring them back. The honeybee farm just down the road now, which is great. I think it's awesome. For some reason, I love this tree. I just love these, you know, red leaves, maple leaves. They're just awesome. Isn't this pretty? Today is a day, it's more like a feel good weekend Sunday type of video. Even though it's Tuesday, oddly enough, I feel like doing a garden video. Because it's special, it's my 200th episode. And we're gonna also have a huge flower garden right here. The seeds are in and uh, just got the landscaping uh, cinder blocks put in the other day and that's gonna there's a rose bush there growing up wild one and that's going to take up that area there because there was a tree stump there and uh, if you remember from one of my videos there a couple weeks ago for that one we took that down and there's going to be some more trees come down here, deadwood, I think. And the guy's coming tomorrow to have a look at that. But uh, straight dead in the center there, if you can see right about there, is a holly bush that the deer like to chomp on and basically strip it right down to the bare, yeah, right down to the bare twigs, if you want to call it that. And uh, so, you know, it flowers with berries and then it comes and it goes. So, it's... It's a disaster. So anyway, Jay, Monica, if you ever decide to come this neck of the woods up here, tons of parking here for you for your RV. It'll fit here. It'll fit. I got a huge driveway. So love to see you guys sometime. There's the size of my driveway there. Something like 80, 90 feet long and close to 40 feet at the widest right here so it's a big driveway so anyway uh, just a different view walking back up this way and all the flowers again just coming from a different angle this time Dang, those things are so pretty. And that looks so clean now with the wire mesh and everything up there. We had originally wood pegs and black plastic netting around it to keep them out, but it was sagging and everything. And it was just around this area right here. Um, and then this, this, uh, raised bed was added this year so then dad decided to go out this way and make it really big so you know um, it looks a lot better it just looks a lot better even on this side of the house there's the wild blue flower just so so pretty now just in behind the garden here there is the deer path and the deer come down that way they go this way they go all the way around they go everywhere but that's a deer path pretty cool eh? upon closer inspection of the holly bush we only see a few berries here and there because as I said before the deer has got them stripped clean and I mean, they come in at night, early morning, and they clean them. They have like a buffet here on these things. Even with the owls here, it just doesn't seem to uh, deter them. I don't know. 
Now off to my poor little herb garden. It's taken a hit. It took a hit this year. The frost got most of it. Spearmint to pineapple. Spearmint to pineapple and the strawberry mint. They were awesome. And I have to try to get some more again this year. The peppermint, the strawberry, they're all gone. Nothing survived. Well, this guy did. Um, yeah. I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, one thing I didn't do with them last year because I really wasn't feeling well and I didn't look after them right was I didn't cover them over come time in the fall and uh, I think the frost got them that's it so anyway I'm gonna have to suck that up and buy some new ones but those ones were really really nice the pineapple ones were awesome they really did smell like pineapple and spearmint, of course, and strawberry did smell like strawberry. I mean, it's incredible how they cross, you know, uh, modify these things. Yeah, I think they're gone. Yeah, bleeding heart is pretty cool, too. No front, we also have one of those maple trees. Japanese maple, I believe. I might be wrong. Okay, so I showed a lot of the garden and not really a lot of me or me lately, but um, you know, it's not about me. It's about my garden today. And uh, anyway, I'm feeling a bit better now that I've got the uh, three iron infusions in and uh, it's, it's coming along. It's just gonna take time, of course. And we'll take it day by day and see how it goes. And soon I'll be going live again and I got my floor screens just about finished for a background so you won't see all the stuff in behind me when I go live uh, when I'm at the computer workstation. So I really wanted to get that done before I went live again. And I uh, really wanted to promote this new style shirt for the uh, episodes and uh, yeah, what a better place to do it and time to do it for the 200th video, okay? And if you haven't already commented, liked, and subscribed, you know what to do so right down here. Hey guys. Anyway, that's about it for me today. I will catch you again tomorrow when my mustache is more curly. And until then, remember to love and live life to the fullest.